Hello guys and welcome back. Uh, today's video is going to be, I see a lot of people ask what they need for um, night fishing. So I thought I'd just point out a few things that I use and I have for night fishing and hope that it points you in the right direction to what you need to bring with you. So let's get into the video. So guys, one of the most important things is a torch. So you can obviously see what you're doing. Um, I also do have a bivvy light up there. They're both Ridge Monkey mine, but it does really doesn't matter what you use. You can get a six pound one from Tesco's or wherever. You're gonna want a bivvy ideally, especially in the winter time, it's gonna be freezing cold. So you're gonna want obviously your bed, a sleeping bag, um, a pillow. Don't forget the pillow. I've done that several times, it's not a good idea. Um, you want your cooker, you want your food, warm clothes. Um, so I've got my waterproofs in the van, I've got a hat in my bag, I've got spare socks in my bag. You can get like the neck scarves that turn into a hood, the snood or something along those lines. One of these, you know, your head comes up there, that acts as a scarf, you can pull it tight. I've had this for years. I think it was off eBay at one point. I think it's like four quid or something stupid. God, I've had that for about 12 odd years, I think. The main thing is, it's taking clothes that's gonna keep you warm and uh, dry in case it rains. You're gonna want your waterproofs. But keeping warm is one of the most important things if you are going out fishing. I think hot water bottles are very underrated. I was using one for ages. I've got the heated sleeping bag um, but you are going to want a decent light for night time especially if you're taking photos I've got a ring light you can pick them up some from B&M or home bargains for like tenner or whatever they are it was my daughter's she didn't use it so I pinched it for night fishing so it illuminates nicely to take the photo of the fish at night the last thing you want is catching a PB and it's all dark and cruddy i've done that i've been there my latest pb um i had like a floodlight i used to use but it created a shadow halfway across my face in the fish uh so then that's when i pinched my daughter's ring light so it's fantastic i put it on the tripod put the phone in the middle of it plug it into a power bank you can see some of the night photos that i've had not a bad photo to be fair um if your sleeping bag allows you to you got to fold it over your head if it's big enough obviously this is my one this is what i mean it goes right over your head um my old one stops to about sort of here so it stops at your neck so to speak but this one you climb right under but if you want to say extra warm this one is the heated sleeping bag. So I don't bring hot water bottles anymore. No need now that I've got my heated um, sleeping bag. But you know, coats, thick jumpers, those sort of things. Now obviously if you want a cup of tea, coffee, anything hot drink would be nice to keep you going. During the winter time, uh, for dinner I'll bring something like a soup, which helps keep your inside warm as well. Uh, but yeah, it's just a few little pointers of what you can bring with you. I'm sure there's something I've forgotten already on that on that list. One tip, do not use some sort of like butane heater or something like that to warm up your tent. Some people will say, oh, well, I've been doing it for years, I'm fine. That's their risk. Um, obviously, you don't want to gas yourself out. You don't want to burn your bivvy down. So stay safe. Another one for winter fishing as well, obviously, if it is raining all the time. Bring a little hand towel or something like that, so obviously you can dry your hands. You can, you know, if your hair's all wet, dry it, that help keep you warm as well. It's all these little things that will help keep you warm, because once you start getting cold, trying to get back from not being cold to sort of warm is somewhat difficult. Another tip of the mesh, I can see the rods. If it's peeing down rain, I'm inside, out of the rain, nice and warm at night time. You can undo the zips on the side, undo the Velcro up the top. This is called the letterbox. So obviously you can have it as 
high up as you want. This is fold down, you're sat like this, you can see out. Obviously, it's like a letterbox. So it's quite good to see out in the middle of the night if it's peeing down with rain, but I have my mesh up anyway. But also it does help with condensation by having this little bit open, it allows some of that air to mix so you don't get the condensation. Not necessarily a must have, but alarms with a receiver. Uh, I know quite a few people that actually like to have their alarms on silent, uh, but have the receiver on sort of, not loud, but obviously enough so they can hear it inside the bivvy, just courtesy of other anglers. But having the receiver, this one has got um, night run on it, I think it's called, that um, when I get a bite for more than three seconds, all the lights flash up and it's really, really bright. So it helps wake you up as well. You do get some alarms that you can get a bivy light, which activates uh, when you get a run. So that helps you wake you up as well. But I'm quite a light sleeper when it comes to fishing. because obviously you've got to jump out and uh, get your rods. Another really useful tip for night fishing is before it gets dark, set everything up where you want it, where you know where everything is. I know where all my stuff is at night time, so if I've got a run in the middle of the night, I know where, obviously, my net is, my hooking mat is all together anyway. I normally have my um, unhooking mat, sling on the top, net on the top of that. But everything, um, including whether you need forceps, um, your fish care, scales, I always have it nearby, ready, again, Everything in the bivvy has its own place. So for any particular reason, I'm trying to find something in the middle of the night, like my tackle box. I know where it is and I know where everything is kept as I normally keep it in the same place anyway. So like I say, I always set that up before it gets dark, obviously. So then I know where everything is and I'm all set up, ready to go. An over wrap is really important. I didn't have one for years on one of my other bivvies and I wonder why I was always cold. Got an over wrap and it did wonders. It acts as a double skin, keeps the cold out and the warmth in. So that's a must have. Also a ground sheet. You're going to want a ground sheet. It stops the moisture from rising up inside the bivvy. So that also keeps you warm as it acts as an insulating layer. You know, like a ground sheet always put it in even when it's sunny i don't like all the little bugs crawling all over me at night going back to socks i have the fox chunk socks i believe they're called they're thermal socks which are water resistant as well so that's quite handy obviously the only water resistant so if they get a little bit wet you'll be fine but obviously don't go jumping in the pond with them on because it won't keep them dry I hope that gives you an insight to what you need to bring. I'm sure I've forgotten something off the list. Drop a comment below of what I have missed or what you take with you. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done already, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.